Well, that will do it for round two competition. But before we get to the semis, a little action from the BF Goodrich Tough Truck Competition. Watch this. Welcome back to the Canfield Fairgrounds in Canfield, Ohio for the Penda Monster Truck Thunder Drags. Gary Lee along with Army Armstrong. We are ready for the uh, semifinal matchups as Wildfoot takes on Bigfoot, the fast loser snake bite against Barefoot. It could be a Ford ambush, three Fords and one Dodge. Yeah, but the rest of the story is one of the Fords keeps coming back. That's the Bigfoot Ford through that quick loser bracket. Sanction body, good move. It keeps them racing hard. Well, you'll recall after his second round run, Ken Deffy was talking about some suspension problems on the Dodge Barefoot. Army has this follow-up. Barefoot was talking about problems they have with their limiter cable, so I thought I'd show you what it is and what it's for. It's this cable right here, and what it does, it keeps the shock absorber from coming apart. The shock absorber is designed to stretch out, but this cable, once the shock absorber goes to maximum length, it actually stops it from going any further and keeps the shock together. Now, this particular vehicle has two shocks. Each shock's $1,500, so... If this cable were to snap or malfunction and the front end stretch all the way out, you're going to lose $3,000 worth of shock absorbers instantly. Cheap cable that does a rather expensive job. All right, we are ready now for side-by-side -side action. The semis, far lane, barefoot, the Dodge, near lane, the Ford, snake bite, Rattler against Deppy. New kid on the block in the far lane. New kid on the block this lane. The future of the sport, that's what we're looking at. Boy, Will's up start for Snakebite. Deppy's trying to muscle him on the other end. Oh, which was it? Almost a dead heat. Who won that one, Army? Man, I don't have any idea. Well, let's check the times. Deppy's a 5.26. 525. You can't get any closer than that. Oh, oh, man, oh, man. By the eyelash. That's what I like. The, the sports keep going and growing. Here's two new drivers, okay? Driving good equipment. Their mentors are back building better equipment. Yeah, and let's talk to what has to be a happy Rick Rattler. Boy, you just took one of the heavy hitters out of this game. Yeah, we knocked the Dodge out with the Ford Snake Bite. You know, we bit him pretty tough, and I don't think, you know, this weekend's going to be a good weekend for the Dodges, but all in all, we're out to see who wins in the finals. It's going to be a good weekend for the Fords because they're going to be right there. There's one of them, Wildfoot with Andy Brass, and there is the front of a, well, a two-time fast loser, but right here he is, the semis. That is a Bigfoot with Gene Patterson. This is called a deja vu round. We've seen this one before, <laughs> two, but... Two yeah, deja vus today. But that you don't race behind you. You race in front of you. Those things behind us just got him to this point. He can still, Gene Patterson, when I say he can still be a player, and, you know, maybe he's learned something these previous two rounds. We well, have seen how close these two rounds have been. Now, can Wildfoot beat Bigfoot three times in one afternoon? Would that be called a hat trick in this sport, Gary Lee? I mean, the trifecta. I don't know that Bigfoot has ever been beaten three times. Let's see a third time's charm. I believe it is. I think I Foot know. got him. I don't know. It's mighty close. I, I think, think you're he right. Got low. Well, hang on there. Gene almost drove around to the paddock right there. Uh, we don't have a paddock in this sport. It's called a driveway. Brass goes a 5.18. That rolls him over. But let's see. Bingo! Yes. All Gene right. Patterson has taken out Wildfoot. Let's look one more time. Third time charm in Canfield for the big, bad blue truck. Patterson kept coming back as the fast loser round one, round two, and he takes out Wildfoot. Let's look again. Remember the old rock and roll song, Devil with the Blue Dress On? Well, she's dancing right now. <laughs> and she'll be dancing in, in the, the final there in right. Canfield as Gene Patterson knocks out Andy Brass. So. And scares the security guard. Now, our remote there. truck's parked yeah. right behind that fence there. That was very close. Now we'll go down and talk to Gene Patterson as he climbs out. Well, I tell you what, uh, you just seem to be on a good roll today. Andy, you know, he bumped you twice, but you didn't let it bother you. You just kind of ran your race, and you're going to the final. That's right, Army. You know, the Ford Bigfoot team, we're working real hard this weekend. You know, both these trucks are running real good. Uh, we got another Ford, it seems like, down in the bottom part of the bracket. That'd be that snake bite truck. You know, these Fords are working good here this weekend. We're real tickled to death. Wise Coat Pistons right here in Ohio. Got a little bit extra boost in the motor on it. You know, we're just doing fine. We're really, we're really tickled. Three times the charm, you know.
Indeed, third time's a charm. Gene Patterson, the Ford Bigfoot in the finals against the Ford Snake Fight, and Rick Rattler all coming your way from Canfield. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Canfield Fairgrounds here in Canfield, Ohio, for the Penda Monster Truck Thunder Drags. Now, this event is brought to you by the same people who put on the four-wheel and off-road jamborees, and they offer a host of participant and spectator activities, as well as great mud and monster truck racing you see right here on this program. Time now for the finals, a classic shootout, the matchup between the Ford Snakebite and the Ford Bigfoot. Now, these two have seen a lot of each other this weekend. In fact, the same two trucks met in the finals earlier. Last night, on the first day of the Canfield stop, it was all Gene Patterson, as Rick Rattler had some engine problems. But back to today's finals, earlier, Army had a chance to visit with both the drivers in today's championship shootout. Gary, going into the final, you know there's some pressure, but Gene Patterson, the guy going to be sitting in the other lane from you, built his truck just to beat you. Is that any more pressure? Yeah, you know, Army, Snake's been running real good this weekend. He's taken us out a couple of times and a couple of other races. There's a lot of pressure on us, but as the old saying goes, it's going to take a Ford to beat a Ford in the finals here this weekend. We've been talking about the Dodge and Ford rivalry all year long. Well, this guy stopped the Dodge end of it today. It's going to be an all-Ford final. Yeah, it is, Army. You know, the, the Ford snake bite's really been running well today, and I'm glad it is an all-Ford final. The Ford's been running tough this whole weekend, and I guess what I really want to say is the crew's been doing a real good job of keeping the truck running. I really feel confident in the motor, the transmission. You know, we're getting good traction off the line thanks to Firestone, but it all goes to show Fords are the best. All right, here they are for the finals. Snakebite, the far lane. Bigfoot, the near lane. Crew members side by side, the drama's up. We told you the story. They contacted the group they call Rabbit and the Hawker about the horsepower, and they told them what to do. It's put them in the final. Let's see what's going to happen now. Ironically, look at the lane Bigfoot decided to choose. He's gone over to the lane that not a lot of people want to mess with because of that little downgrade. But Patterson's comfortable in it, Gary. All right, they are staged. There is the light. They are underway, and it's oh. going to be Gene Patterson. Whoa, what a Can you believe it? Twice he came back as the fast loser, then knocked out Wildfoot and Andy Brass, makes it to the finals, and then knocks out Snakebite. Rick Rattler. Yeah, a 528, a strong, strong run, making all kind of horsepower. Patterson, a 520, but that ought to tell the youngsters out there something. You don't quit. Patterson believed in himself. He believed in the crew. He knew he could keep working his way back in, and that's exactly what he did. That's a good classic He race. also got faster with each run. And there is a look at your winner as he unbuckles, about to climb out of Bigfoot Army. Go over there and catch up with Gene Patterson. Tell you what, Gene, that was like a gunfight out there. Both of you came off that line like a rocket. Yeah, you know, I've been watching Snakebite run all day long, and it seems like he's really getting out of the hole real fast. You know, Ford Bigfoot, we were going to make a gear change for the final, but we were real safe with the gears we've been running after we beat the Wildfoot truck. We felt real good about it. Hey, you know, uh, we just figured it's going to be a dog-eat-dog -dog track down through there, and uh, I'm just glad the Firestone's hooked up for me in between and settled down real nice. We're at the Trailmaster. We're running a new MSD crank trigger on here, and it seems like it's giving me all the power, and all I can do is just handle the truck. Well, our congratulations to Gene Patterson, his third win in this uh, Panda Jamboree series. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now here's news of an exciting video release from Diamond Peace Sports.